Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am excited to bring you today another 2016 toy uh, from the Transformers Robots in Disguise line. You know, it's the end of the year, and these figures do start showing up at various retail outlets. Right now, I'm only finding them online, so uh, you probably won't be able to find them on shelves until well into 2016. But this is Op uh, Optimus Prime from the Minicon Battle Packs. Basically, what Hasbro is doing is you'll have a larger commander-scaled figure... Or I should say, commander-sized figure. Remember those old commander-class figures. Um, and uh, pairing them with uh, minicons. Now, the first two are Optimus Prime and Bludgeon. Um, and apparently there's a Sideswipe with a, another minicon. The name escapes me. But they're the new spherical ones, which is kind of cool. So we're starting off with Optimus Prime. And as you can see, this is basically just a upscaled and... Fancified, I will use the term, version of the Legion toy. Um, you do have much more articulation, you know, ball joints in the elbows, ball joints in the knees. Um, you know, as you've been watching for a while, I have a love-hate relationship with uh, ball joints. Depending on where they're placed, they sometimes can affect the transformation. That's not the case here with Optimus Prime. He does transfer on very nicely. Now, one of the other bits is uh, he does come with this very nice uh, clear plastic axe for a weapon. I think it's nice to see Prime going back to using an axe. And it does uh, slot peg into the hand here quite nicely. You can see that through the paneling that's a clear uh, run. Now, this is also part of the Energon armor that the uh, figure comes with. Um, other than that, you know, there's really nothing much more to the figure. Um, does have a, 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 a faceplate-less head. So I don't know if that means there's going to be a, uh, update or a, uh, you know, a running change where, or a variant where you have the, uh, faceplate. But there's the head, and it is very close to that animation model. I kind of do like it. So, um, yeah, that's really, like I said, about it. Let's get into transformation. Transforming Optimus Prime is really not that difficult at all. First thing you want to do is go ahead and swing the arms out to the side, just like that. And then come in and peg the legs together. Um, you can slot them here. It's like a, one, of the, one of those slotting tabs, but there is enough space because it's open in the back that you can actually just peg it together. Um, very nice. It comes together quite well. Next, what you want to do is, and I find the easy way to do it, is put your thumb on the chest and then pull on the shoulders. That will flip that whole section down and forward. While you're doing that, you want to go ahead, oh, drinking game, and swing the um, arms at a pin joint right there down and then peg them into the leg. Thusly. So that secures it up. Unfortunately, you do have the exposed hands, but at least they're not covered up like on the warrior class figure. Finally, what you want to do is go ahead and f swing the whole front end around and bring it up. And that will just, you know, friction, whatever, into place. And there you have Optimus Prime in its truck mode. And, you know, it's kind of cool. It's nice that they finally figured out a way to do... Um, you know, the Optimus figure as a tra as a cab and trailer all in one. Make sure I have everything lined up here. Yeah, it looks good. Um, but wait, there's more. Remember that ask axe I showed you at the beginning? Here it is. Notice right here in the sh what was the shoulder of Optimus Prime, there's a little tab of slot. On the axe, there's a little tab right there. I thought this was for decoration, but actually, if you go ahead, you can plug it in, and that's weapon storage and vehicle mode for the axe. So yes, Hasbro is continuing the fine tradition in their instructions of leaving out the weapon storage, because this was not mentioned, and I just happened along it. Now, you do want to make sure that this front handle piece uh, sort of frictions into place, because that's how it'll hold it in. If not, if you tend to push more down on the 
here on the blade section. It'll tab in, but it'll pop up. It won't hold securely. And here's Bludgeon, the Minicon. Not much I can really say about it. It's a fairly dark colored figure. You have black and purple. Um, I was kind of hoping this would look more like the classic Bludgeon with the green and orange. Uh, but hey, I guess it's just a placeholder for the name or what have you. But, you know, there's not, I mean, there's a little red here in the eyes, but it's very hard to see because of how it's sunken in. No articulation whatsoever. This thing is just literally a brick, which is why I've never really gotten into the mini cons. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but this is the first time I'm handling one of these uh, spherical ones. So, you just want to go ahead, flip the hands up just like that, and then fold in the sides, and everything should peg together. Oh, good. This is the problem I've been having. If you notice right here, it's supposed to peg in. Obviously, something it doesn't line up correctly, so I don't know. But you have to just play with it and squeeze it all together. And you've got a spiked ball of dew. Eh, does it sort of roll? I guess it sort of rolls. But that's really all there is to uh, bludgeon. Uh, I don't have any of the new deployers that uh, can launch the spheres. I've heard that with there, there's a, um, not that wonderful in terms of plastic quality and ability to launch these. Also, the armor that comes with Optimus Prime, I've tried, and unless I'm missing something very obvious, it's not mentioned in the instructions, and there's no way to uh, peg the um, Minicon, uh, the armor bits, onto the Minicon. Before we go into armoring up Optimus Prime, uh, there is an, a nice, cool feature. Because, I mean, if you see here, you have a lot of bits. Well, these can actually combine with the main weapon to form an even bigger weapon. And basically what you want to do is, it's uh, actually not that difficult. Uh, you're going to take the arm pieces and what have you. And there's two holes on the axe blade. The smaller arm pieces go on the bottom. Um... And they peg in in the front of the blade and in the part of the shaft. Now, sometimes this is a little easier said than done because I don't think the axe blade is as thick as it could be. But what's nice is it does peg together. The arm pieces go on a lot nicer than, say, the uh, leg armor bits, which we're doing right now. They, those go into a top, a top peg slot uh, on the upper part of the blade. And then um, tab into a uh, uh, a you know a little uh, slot behind for the blade. So this one's always a little tricky. Uh, I mean, and I'm also I'll be honest with you, a little hesitant to force things in, just because you know it is clear plastic. But there you go, it's coming together like that. Give it a little squeeze. Now the final bit. Oh, jeez. That, that's really a pain. Um, this is what will be the chest piece and face mask. You think, now, it shows it that it clips on. Well, here's the thing. That little clip section with the face mask doesn't want to peg in for some reason. So, you gotta just friction it in. And then this just pegs on like so. Uh, do I have any? Oh, no, you know what? I had it backwards. Sorry. Yeah, you just, you know, this will just peg on. Ugh, and it's falling apart. Uh, I think I might have to have a jump cut here. Just to, because I'm not going to drive myself nuts doing this. Oh, I mean, uh. Hopefully, this is not going to be indicative of how the entire uh, line is going to be in terms of getting these uh, armor bits together and what have you, because that can get really annoying really quick. And I'll, and I'll also be straight up honest with you, this isn't my preferred way of displaying Optimus Prime's weapons. I just prefer the straight axe. Okay, time for a jump cut. Okay, here it is all pegged together. It's this giant, like, capture claw type of thing. Um, unfortunately, I don't see a way 
that Bludgeon is supposed to peg in. I mean, they show you in the instructions Optimus Prime swinging this and grabbing Bludgeon, but it doesn't attach. And yeah, that's it's very. You know, once you start swinging around, things start to pop apart. It's just um, Optimus Prime looks a lot better wearing this as an armor piece. Armored up Optimus Prime looks kind of cool, but you know because it is you know clear plastic, it really doesn't match um, or complement Optimus's uh, paint scheme all that well. And uh, you know, I mean, it, it is cool to look at, but I think I would have liked so maybe if it was in a clear blue to match with the arms and stuff. Um, articulation isn't affected, you know, so all the ball joints are acceptable, except for the head here, because of the face mask, um, it is, you can't turn it at all, but, um, yeah, I mean, this looks all right, the other thing is, too, you really can't transform the figure, um, with the parts on, it, um, basically because of how this chest piece is connected, it's, you can't pull the shoulders for, which is a little disappointing, but, you figure something like this is strictly for a battle mode. I should mention that while Optimus can hold the axe with that giant capture claw thing going on, it does make the figure very top and front heavy, that you have to bend the knees and hips back in an unnatural angle. Um, I like this set. I think it's kind of fun um, for what it is. It's, you, you know, just some, uh, has a couple different play patterns that are available. I would have liked if there was some way for the armor bits to peg on to the Minicon, since um, that's the play, pa uh, play pattern that's been established uh, by using, by the Minicons uh, from the previous waves. Um, like, I got this set from Big Bad Toy Store. I know cases are showing up on eBay. Um, they were supposed to be released now, but I tend to think we, in terms of retail, you won't see them until January, which means they'll be sharing space with the Wave 2 figures, which I think are Bumblebee and Grimlock with uh, their respective Minicon uh, Decepticons to go against. Um, I kind of get the feeling, just from looking at the 2016 assortment, that um, the um, Minicons are going to have a much bigger f thrust in the cartoon, um, and that this is why now the toy line is going to be focusing on them a bit more. You have two new deployers coming, you have a new Minicon design, uh, you have battle packs, weapons Minicons, it's, it's a whole uh, Minicon party. Well, this is your old pal Chuck for Optimus Prime and Bludgeon. We will see you next time.